After catching my first fish of the year on 8th of January, I was back down the lake the following Saturday at lunchtime. Despite the lake not having fished well in the week, I was full of confidence. A drive around an almost deserted lake in the still damp overcast conditions gave no signs of encouragement however, so I plumped for a swim where I'd got two takes a couple of weeks before. I fished PVA bags on the same spots as before until the following lunchtime, but with no action. To try and improve my chances for next time, I baited one of the spots before leaving with a view to fishing it again the following week if that swim was free. The next session was a week later on Sunday the 23rd of Jan. I could not fish overnight, so could only get down for a day session. However, I was able to get in the same swim that I had fished and baited a week before. PVA bags went out on the usual spots, but the day was fairly uneventful, apart from the wildlife keeping me company. I did see some signs from fish in that bay however, so ended the session with a bit of encouragement that I was targeting the right area. The next week I could not fish at all and was back down a week later on Saturday the 5th of Feb. The breezy southerly wind conditions meant that the point swim beckoned, and so I set up in there and fished one bag out left to the sunken trees along the far margin and the other out right onto the weedy plateau. By lunchtime the next day however, all I had to show for my efforts was a couple of bleeps in the night. So I left the lake wondering when my next chance might come. The lake was fishing hard for all, but I came down the next Saturday lunchtime on the 12th of Feb as keen as ever. After a cold spell during the week with high pressure, a warm front had moved in and the pressure drop was taking place. The point swim was taken, so I opted for the margin swim that was the next one along and which I had not fished for some time. One bag was put out on one of my favourite spots down the left hand side and the other was fanned out to the right on some broken ground. 24 hours in that swim however resulted in not even a bleep, despite me hanging out the session for as long as possible before I had to be home. The next Saturday brought lower pressure, a strong southwesterly and a lot of anglers. However all that was free was a swim in the bottom southwest corner named No Carp Corner. A bit of leading around was required to find some spots and I put a couple of bags out without much hope. Another quiet night ensued and I left 24 hours later wondering when the lake would switch on or my luck would change. Saturday 26th of February brought sunny warm spring like conditions and I was back in the points room again in the face of the wind. Hello, it's uh, Saturday 26th of February, um, just gone half two in the afternoon. Uh, I am in the point swim um, on what is a lovely late winter afternoon. Where I'm going to be putting them is, well I'm going to be putting one out there on the plateau. Um, I haven't had a lead about yet but it's going to be about sort of a 9 to 11 wrap, something like that. And the other one is going to be going out there where the two trees uh, come out in the water to the uh, right of the uh, right hand tree at uh, 19 wraps. I'm only going to be fishing PVA bags. It hasn't been fishing well. I have known of a couple of fish that came out last weekend, uh, but um, I had a friend um, who did three nights um, during the week. Uh, finished on Thursday, I think he did, and uh, no joy. He was fishing over there on the plateau swim. So, yeah, I'm down uh, until tomorrow lunchtime, the usual. Um, it's been a pretty barren February. This is probably this is my last chance to get a fish in February. Um, so, yeah, it all started off looking quite promising, didn't it? Um, I was getting those takes when I'm not hooking the fish in uh, early Jan. Had that 20 pounder, and I thought, right, okay, this is what it's going to be like. But then, nothing. But uh, for oh, I've stopped counting. Well, yeah, it's over. It's probably five weeks now, something like that. Um, so yeah, got to break the uh, run of blanks if I can. I'm going to keep trying. Um, you know, spring's not that far away, and hopefully the fish will uh, wake up then, and uh, we can get into them proper. So yeah, but uh, I'm as confident as always, <laughs> or optimistic as always. So um, yeah, I'm uh, just going to get myself sorted out now, and then uh, get them out there.
right now. A last bit of sunshine falling on the trees there. The sun will be dipping in, uh, I don't know, half an hour to an hour. Quite a bit different actually to uh, conditions that uh, I fished in the last few weeks when I've been blanking. So who knows? These could be the ones to get the fish going. Bright days. It's all about the daylight hours, isn't it? Switching the fish back on. So uh, yeah, slowly getting longer days. Of sunshine today. Probably have to warm the water up because it's, like say, it's a chilly wind. But uh, who knows? I feel another quiet night coming on. In reality, but I'm to try and stay optimistic. Got to try and not go through the whole of February without catching. Okay, 5.30 now. Last of the sun has gone. But thankfully the, uh, the wind's died off a bit. So yeah, hopefully it won't be too bad. Right, well got a bit of boxing to watch tonight so uh, yeah gonna get my dinner down me and uh, settle in for the evening Morning, 7am now, been up for about an hour, um, not a bleep last night, bleep this morning, uh, that was only from a bird that landed on my rod, so yeah, very quiet, didn't hear anything, so um, yeah. Looks like it's a blank February. Oh, just come up to eight o'clock, bleep on one of the rods. God's sake. Oh dear. Hook pull. Oh. All those weeks. <sighs> Just to lose one to a hook pull.
Well, I've got it back out there, but I've only got, what, a couple of hours now. So it's just uh, gone half ten. Oh, gutted. <laughs> this does kick you in the teeth, this, uh, this hobby of ours, doesn't it? Just got hope that uh, I get another chance before I have to pack up. Stranger things have happened. <laughs> okay, it's uh, just come up 12 o'clock, but uh, I'm going to stay a few more hours. Um, called home, and my uh, wife. Uh, understands my pain and yeah she's okay with me staying a little bit longer so yeah I'm gonna give it another two or three hours and uh, hope that that uh, right hand rod goes off again okay that's it it's three o'clock all packed up um, that's a blank February then uh, six weeks, you know, middle of Jan, I think it was. I had that last fish, but uh, I suppose if there's any positives to take, then uh, at least I've had a take. But uh, yeah, we'll see what March brings. The first weekend of March saw me back in the same swim. I had been away but managed to get down the lake at 6 pm for a quick overnighter until 9 am the following morning. The lake had done some fish the night before, so I was full of hope but fishing both rods on the plateau brought me only a bream to show for my efforts. The next week I was back down again on Saturday 12th of March at lunchtime for a 24 hour session. The lake had not been fishing the few days previous but it was still busy with anglers and I had little choice of swim. I opted for the margin swim and set up out of the brisk southerly wind and to avoid the heavy rain that was forecast. The rods were put out on the same spots as I had fished exactly a month earlier but with no real expectation. In the night I had a massive drop back on the right hand rod after a fish had apparently done me with a pickup, but that was the only action. It was however some encouragement that fish were active and I told myself that things must change soon. I was therefore back down the following week to have another go. Okay, it's uh, Friday, 18th of March. It's uh, just coming up to quarter to five in the afternoon. Um, yeah, doing a Friday night, first time for a long while. What I've forgotten about is this. Friday afternoon traffic, so <laughs> don't know what time I'm gonna get down there. I'm probably still a half hour away, but uh, there you go. So uh, yeah, apparently it's been fishing okay, the lake. Um, this week, well certainly last night it did, because a friend had three and, and uh, someone else with him had one. And um, we've had good, proper spring weather the last couple of days, sunny, warm, Goodness, what it is today, 16 degrees, something like that. Um, you know, not warm compared to recently. Um, so, lots of daylight hours. Fish have been up in the top, you can see them apparently. So, yeah, I'm just hoping it's not going to be too busy down there and I can get in a decent swim with a chance of a fish. Um, so, yeah, whenever I get down here, that is. <laughs> Okay, it uh, took me over an hour to get down here, but uh, here I am. <laughs> uh, it's obviously super busy um, on a Friday night. Uh, we've had good weather the last couple of days. Fish have been coming out and the lake shuts at the end of the month. So everyone's trying to cram some last weekend sessions in. So, uh, or last couple. So uh, yeah, but I managed to get in uh, the margin swim here. And uh, as you can see, I've stuck a couple of bags out. One down the margin at uh, just under 15 wraps and the other one I've just hoofed it as far as I can, uh, which isn't easy when you're sort of up to your waist in water because you can't compress the rod. But uh, 
yeah um it's messed up my plans really because i wanted to have a bit of a choice to swim i know that there's been fish over in that back bay over the other side uh, but there's two uh, two uh, fellas in there fishing understandably um so yeah i'm in here for the night um not confident really um but uh, uh you never know um yeah it's set up in a rush I mean, it's half six now um just got them out um, but uh, yeah, still, it's these uh, these sessions can sometimes be the surprising ones, can't they? Just you know, you expect nothing to happen because it was all in a rush and you haven't planned it. You've just dropped in whatever swim was going, and uh, and then it can happen for you. So um, let's hope it's one of those nights, eh? Just come up to seven o'clock now. Got dark quickly. There's a big old moon that's going to come up over the horizon in a minute over there. Full moon tonight. Yeah. Come on, the big commons. Oh, <laughs> finally. <laughs> finally. <laughs> it's about half four in the morning now. Good fish. So nervous it was going to come off after losing fish. <laughs> what was I saying earlier about best laid plans? Nothing going right. <laughs> okay, Let's see how big you go. Zero, something zero. Thank you. 
30 pound 10. Time to go back. So happy with that. I was wondering when I was ever going to make a video with a fishing again. Oh, I'm sorting my rig out. I'm going to get another bag on, my waders on, and get out there and uh, wang it out there. That was just a random chuck. Um, but it was on the other bait, SV1, which is the bait I use in the warmer months. Um, I just thought I'd try one rod on that, and that's the one that's gone. So. Yeah, I'm going to um, use a, a bit more SV1, I think, from now on in, rather than the Target Nut and Maple. Might as well do one on one, because the Target Nut and Maple works all year round. But uh, the SV1's, you know, a bit more fishy. And if they're trying to hunt out, you know, protein and uh, um, at this time of the year now, there's a little bit of an explosion in the uh, wildlife. I mean, I've seen the bats flying so there must be hatches um, yeah that's, that could be what they're after so uh, the fish you know so a little, a little bit more nutrition so um, yeah I think I'm gonna uh, definitely use uh, that on at least one rod uh, for the foreseeable so yeah <laughs> I won't be able to go to bed now I mean it's, it's five, nearly five o'clock anyway yeah, so um, I'm just going to start now, have a coffee, watch the sun come up, yeah, reflect on that capture. 30 as well, can't complain. Right, okay, let's get this uh, rig tied. Six now. The sun's finally got up. Warm me up a bit. It's a bit of a chilly, sort of northeasterly wind coming in. But I don't mind. <laughs> mm. I think um, I'm going to toy with the idea of pulling the left hand rod in and uh, moving the right, one, right hand one across and uh, having another chuck with the uh, with um, SV1 on swap it over from the Tiger Nut and Maple so I've got them both on that like both on the SV1 probably leave it 
I don't know, another hour. Put it in the same sort of vicinity as uh, where I had the take from. Because the left hand one is closer to the margin than that. So yeah. Full moon last night, wasn't it? Full moon, big common. And it's the uh, spring equinox on Sunday. So things are looking up. Right, third coffee time, I think. Okay, half seven, same rod again. SV1, again. Oh. I was just about to pull the uh, left hand rod in and uh, move it. Right. It's probably mid 20, I reckon. Road. Twenty five and a half. Not a bad guess. It's an unusually shaped one for him here. because I couldn't really see in the sun. I'm sure I framed it okay. Right, let's get you back. 
boat shaft. S31 seems to be the bait. That's them both back out there on uh, the SV1. See, I've got no touches on the Tiger Nut and Maple. Uh, it's nice and warm now. Very pleasant indeed. Life is good again. Oh. Left down rod. Put it out. It'd be great to get a third. I was thinking, I, I was dreading it last night until I had that, until this morning, until I had the fish, 30. I thought I've missed the feeding window again. It always seems to be the way with me. Um, you know, guys have come down on a Thursday or whatever, or a Friday, and they'll catch, and I'll come down on the Saturday, as I've been. And uh, it's all over by then, because uh, nothing else comes out. Uh, there must be something behind that. You know, if people turn up it's like Thursday, and it hasn't been fish a lot during the week. Um, they've got a bit of bait in, fish straight on it. Not too many lines in the water. But then on the Friday, when people descend, on the Saturday as well, fish have all shut up shop. So yes, I think it's going to be Friday nights from now on in, with the occasional second night as well. Right, I'm going to have a bit of a sort out because it's all a bit of carnage here. Um, it's coming up to half eight, so I'll uh, do an update in a bit. This is another good fish. Oh. oh dear. I was really worried about not getting this one in. I saw the size of it. Oh. It's half nine now. Oh, heart's absolutely pumping. Oh. Five pounds. There's something wrong with his eye, it's got a gone blind, I think. It's got a fluke coming out of it. But, uh, so his head in some clay, I think. It's been rubbing up some clay. Beautiful. Beautiful. Right. 
I'll chuff with that. That's a lake PB, that is. This lake. Yeah, that was an old warrior, wasn't it? He or she. Looked old, didn't it? That fish. Uh, a bit battered. Tackle. Oh, gave me a good fight. Gave me a really good fight. I was really nervous about it coming off. I saw it and thought, oh, it's bigger than the first one. Well, I've got uh, another couple of hours, so I'm uh, just going to sort myself out a little bit and then um, start slow pack away, I think. Um, I think, uh, yeah, I've had my luck. Yeah, there could be a chance for another, but I can't see it somehow. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to have two, let alone three. But, uh, they're out there. Um, yeah. Can't believe it. I can't believe it. Right. Okay. Start sorting myself out. Okay, that's it, all packed up. Uh, quite a long video. Sorry you had to wade through so much of it before you got to see some fish, but uh, it was very slow, January and February, and most of March. So, uh, yeah, but hopefully this is what's gonna be like from now on. Well, until this shuts, and then uh, onto the other water. So, yeah. If you like the video, please like, uh, subscribe if you haven't, uh, leave a comment if you wish, and uh, if you're out there fishing, I hope it's picking up for you. And I'll see you next time.